Let's figure out how many half cups, one half cups are in one and one half cups. And probably the easiest way to think of this right away is just we have one half cup plus one half cup, that would equal one cup. So that's one cup. If we add another half cup, we get that one cup here plus one half, that equals one and a half cups. So three of these half cups make up one and one half cups. So kind of you could reason it that way. The math way to do it is like this. What we want to know is we have one and one half cups and we want to know how many times one half goes into that. So we would divide one and one half by a half. With fractions, it's easier to use multiplication most of the time than division, but you have to multiply by the reciprocal. So we move the two up here and then the one down here. The reciprocal of one half is two. But then we have this mixed number here. So let's change that to the same format as this two over one. The way we do that is we would say one and one half, one times two plus one, that gives us the three, and we keep the two the same. So one and one half and three halves are the same thing. So let's use this. So now we have three over two times two over one, just multiply straight across, three times two is six, two times one is two, and six divided by two equals three, which is what we got before. So there are three half cups in one and a half cups. The value of doing it this way is it works with more complicated fractions. Either way though, that's it. This is Dr. B looking at how many half cups are in one and one half cups. The answer is three. Thanks for watching.